Okay, we're talking about watering plants in the garden. And of course, the three things that you have to keep in mind again are soil, the soil quality and the, and the heaviness of the soil, the environment, of course, how much sun, how much rain we've gotten, how much humidity we've gotten, how many cloudy days, how many sunny days, and how, much, how many windy days we've had. And the third thing has to do, of course, with the plant material. Those are those plants that require a lot more moisture than other plants. This is an example of a shade garden, and so most of these plants are high water loving plants. You have impatiens, hostas, begonias, and these types of plants um, really do require quite a bit more moisture than, than uh, zinnias and other annuals that we plant in the open sun areas. So here again the same principles apply. I, I soak the water, the plants, I soak the soil around the plants with my water wand, soaking all of the soil, not the plants, as I go around each plant like this and soak the soil around each plant. If these were newly established plants, I'd be giving them a lot more water. In this case, I usually only have to water once a week in an environment like this, depending again on rain and wind and humidity and how often I water these plants. But this is how it's properly done, not wetting the foliage, watering in and around each plant, soaking the soil around each plant so that the plants have enough moisture to grow and perform well.